For instance, right now you should have your CCENT or uh, you're planning on taking the combo test that gives you the CCNA. Now, if you're not familiar with the CCENT, that's the certification uh, that you're going to get just by taking the test associated to the Part 1 version of this uh, CCMP course. If you take both the Part 1 and the Part 2 test, you're recognized as a CCNA or an associate level uh, Cisco certified individual. Um, you can take a combo test. The combo test is more difficult, uh, and it encompasses material from both Part 1 and Part 2 uh, to become a CCNA. From there, you can move forward to the CCMP level, which is four separate tests. There's a routing, switching, a remote access, which is now um, the uh, ISCW course, uh, and the ONT course, which is essentially set up Q QoS and some security features for wireless. Uh, so those four courses uh, essentially make up the necessity to become a routing and switching based CCMP. Now, th there's other CCMP types. Uh, well, th used to be other CCMPs. Now it's CCSP uh, for the security professional. And then there's CCVP for the voice professional. 